Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. TV down. Oh, I'm getting closer. <laughs> I got one side to do after this one. And I'll be done. Man, I got a couple fans said they emailed Team JR for me or uh, JR America. Not email them, but that would be cool, guys. You know what I would really like to do? It would be fun. Like I stopped at that, remember when I stopped at that one flying field in Indiana, I believe it was in? That was a good time, man. I would like to do more of that. Going to and from these jet meets. You know, representing JR. Maybe have some little good, good giveaways, you know, to give away to people. And uh, showing some new products and helping people with programming and just that would be a blast. I would love that. Just to uh, be an ambassador to the sport. You know, that's all I'm in this for. You know. You just gotta love model airplanes, man, to be in B1 Bob Deep. <laughs> you know, that's all that's required. Just gotta love model airplanes. That's it. I don't care what, where you're from or what language you speak. If you can understand me, we're all good. <laughs> but I've heard my accent is even hard for some people to understand. <laughs> I don't think I got an accent. I think y'all got an accent. It's not me, it's y'all. <laughs> that talk funny. Y'all talk funny. Not me. And I gotta do one more thing to this wing before I prime it. And that's mark off where them horns go. You know, I was going to try and do that with filler, you know, or hinges. But then I had a, another bright idea. Light bulb went off in the old noggin. Well, guys, I'm going to, uh, going to go to Speed World in February. They're open back up for business. Old Bill's going. Gotta remember old Bill. Wild Bill, my buddy Bill. You gonna swing by here and get me. And we're gonna go work on our tan while y'all's freezing. <laughs> so when me and Obalcom went a few years ago, remember that we chased that storm out of town or that storm chased us out of town or Well, they got dumped on by snow. It was right, that's me and Balcom had to leave a couple days early, remember? To beat that storm. And uh, they got like two foot of snow here. 
<laughs> Me and Balcom was working on our tan. This is my last roll of tape, but I'm gonna have enough. I'm gonna have to order some more Monday, regardless of so, because I still gotta do the elevators and stuff. For the football game. Man, I am sorry for you Seattle Seahawks fans. <laughs> Cause though uh, New Orleans is gonna put the hurt on them bad. Prediction: Drew Brees, MVP, 500 yards, four touchdown passes, one touchdown run. <laughs> That's my prediction. I done called Drew. You know, you know Drew's tight and told him what I expected out of him today, and he said. I said, okay, Bob. <laughs> said, I'll make it happen. I said, yeah, you better. <laughs> Bam, what do you guys think? That looks pretty good, huh? So, one more died. Bam. Bam. See what I did for my hinges. I kind of made me a little gauge here. Put beside there and mark off so I get them all the, the same amount of uh, hinges in both, in both wings. Okay. Man. Now, just put a piece on there. I'm going to wrap this piece around to the other side. This is about the most tedious part of this. But I really enjoy doing this. I like putting pan lines on. I like the end result too. Really looks good. Bam! And we put another pinch. Okay. We way past this line. No, this one goes. This one goes all the way back. All the way, baby. Okay, now. Let's 
There. Now that four side actually get kind of fast at it. Do two or three sides. Beautiful. Okay, now we come in here. The outside is the low side, so we need to go come in here with my gauge. Works there. Tells me where to stop. Okay. Now, wouldn't that be fun to have old B1 Bob pop in your flying side? Just like on a Wednesday evening or something. <laughs> But y'all can help me. We can all work together and make this happen. If everyone here, everybody watching this video, just go to JR America, where it says contact us, 
Tell them about OB1 Bob. Tell them about your favorite video. Tell them about all the good times we had together. And Bob really ain't crazy. <laughs> <laughs> He's really not. You no, know, it's questionable at times, but not crazy. Not all the way crazy, just a little. No, well, guys, I'm here for one reason or one reason only. That's to teach you guys how to build an airplane. That's it. Share my knowledge with the world. Let them know you don't have to buy an ARF. You can do it yourself. Well, I can do it, anybody can do it, and that's a fact. That's a fact right there. That's what my Uncle Jack used to say all the time. That's a fact. See, right. That's a Jack fact. I know everybody's got an Uncle Jack in their family. <laughs> one of them guys you know is going to be on Cops one of these days. <laughs> I, told, I told Jack one day, I said, Jack, I said, you're the reason I watch Cops. So I just know you're going to be on there one of these days. <laughs> He's a trip. So I know everybody's got an Uncle Jack in their family. Jack, he's a, he's a collector of junk. <laughs> I call him a garbologist. <laughs> I came up with that word. He's got a degree in garbology. He thinks everything's worth a fortune. <laughs> Anything of his, man. He'll go to a garage sale and he'll buy a 1962 riding lawnmower that's got two wheels on it, and one fender, and half a motor, and sit there and tell you that there was only 25 of them ever made and it's worth a fortune. And I'm telling them, I said, Jack, the reason they only made 25 is because it was a piece of junk. <laughs> if it would have been any good, they'd have made more than 25 of them. And so he'll buy it and it'll sit in his backyard till all the little rust debris that went back to the earth. <laughs> and uh, that's just Jack. That's just Jack. <laughs> He's a trip. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get this done. And it's about time to watch some football and do a little priming, but I'll be back. You know I will. And don't forget to go to JR America. Tell them how bad they need B1 Bob and how bad you want B1 Bob to show up at your flying field. <laughs> and we'll see you right back here. St. Bob time. St. Bob station.